the shows that we make are our mind, are our words, are our imagination. The International Ibsen Award is often referred to as a Nobel Prize of Theatre. It is the world's largest theatre prize and it is given to honour an institution, an organisation or an individual that has contributed to the global art of theatre or given theatre new dimensions. The committee invited the winners of the International Ibsen Award 2022 to a video conference to discuss a future guest performance in Oslo. However, this was a slight cover-up because we also had some other news to share. The reason why all of us are gathered digitally is to announce that Back to Back Theatre you are the recipients of the 2022 oh my God. Award, <laughs> International Ibsen Award. It's an incredible honour. We feel quite honoured. I feel like that, um, this is such a privilege and it's amazing. Back to back, put people first. The work is most and foremost a matter of being a person and after that a matter of action. The agency of doing, of making, of sharing, of taking responsibility. A poetics of action that has had far-reaching consequences on the lives of those who encounter the work. In giving the International Ibsen Award to Back to Back Theatre, the committee recognizes the global importance of a body of work. Yeah. Oh, wow. 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 Thank That's, you. Um, wow. It's such a privilege to be able to hear um, the jury's uh, impressions and interpretation and reflection of the company. It is. Um, it's often the case that you, as an artist, are making something and it's not until it's someone talks to you about it that you actually understand what it is that you're doing. Uh, it's a great um, acknowledgement. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank, yeah. Thank you. I think audiences around the world connect with Back to Back because it challenges assumptions of what it is to be human. I would hope that the future of the company is that we continue reassessing what the company is and not feeling attached to anything specifically. Uh, and challenging our own sense of safety uh, and assumption of who we are. You know, ultimately we're trying to make something that is going to be this kind of profound transformational experience for the audience. Um, I know as an audience member myself when I see theatre, if I'm kind of lulled into a certain state of being and then um, when I go to see the theatre and the theatre's taking place and I think it's one thing and it's conventional and, and then it somehow takes me on a journey that transforms me or transforms my perception or understanding, not just of theatre but of humanity. That's the experience that I want as an audience member and as theatre makers we're also trying to create um, that for our audiences. And a lot of that chemistry is based on, for us, about who the actors are. Um, you know, people will bring their own perceptions of who those actors are. I think sometimes audiences have an idea of going, all right, well, I'm going to see that company that has actors with intellectual disabilities or neurodiverse. And to some degree, we'll challenge that. Um, we'll challenge the idea of what uh, an actor is or who an actor is or who can be an actor or who can play in the big house, who can play in the grand theatre house of that city. The International Ibsen Award is the world's largest theatre award. And its prize money, 2.5 million Norwegian kroner, is handed over with no attachments or conditions. Back to Back is invited to Oslo for a formal awarding ceremony in September. This will be the very first time that Back to Back's work will be presented for a Norwegian audience.